Welcome back to another edition of my shorts right here at the ranch here, smoking with passes for a lucky strike. Breaking up the moments that make up a dull day. Well, I've been telling a lot of fun story times, and I guess it's now no better time than ever. Uh, I was watching a Count Dankula video, and, you know, it's about the stupidest things wars have been have ever fought over, and my dad had a personal war with the Mormons I think you'd like to hear about. If you know anything about Idaho, we have been invaded by the Mormon Church, and they run this just as an extension of their temple in Salt Lake. Now, Mormons have some 1950s Americana values to them, so, okay. But they're very militant about it, and, you know, they're very against the sin, which I get it. It's about personal choice. And it's no secret my old man had a sense of humor. Well, the Mormons tried to beat that out of them growing up because, you know, small town in Idaho, you're, you're a Mormon. You have no say in the matter. Uh, Dad was not a Mormon. He hated the Mormons so much he intentionally got himself written out of the Book of Life. And the Mormons tried to molest him growing up, and so did the Catholic priest. I told that story to for Loretta for a Christmas present. Um, but my dad absolutely fucking despised the Mormons. You see, I'll just answer the front door naked, covered in tattoos, half drunk with a lit cigarette and a hand cannon, and ask them if they want to come back in the other room for an orgy, you know. See, that usually gets the point across, but no, my dad's way was much more simple and elegant than mine was. See, whenever he saw those little fruits on bicycles, and, you know, and they had their little Mormon suits on, and they always travel in pairs, my dad would promptly turn around, about face, drop trowel, and show him his butthole. Right, wrong, or indifferent. That's what the old man would do. It got so bad at one point, he despised the Mormons, that when we were driving the car, he would almost forget we were driving the car, and I'd have to grab the steering wheel so he could try and show them his butt. Okay? And my old man was famous for mooning people that he didn't like. I mean, that was his favorite thing to fucking do when he was younger. But they were not always paying attention, so what he'd have to do is he'd have to whistle at them, you know? Do a little crip whistle. And they'd turn and look, and then, lo and behold, there was the old man's butthole. And he enjoyed doing this so much in the old neighborhood that we grew up in, that it became kind of a celebrity for it. <sighs> they'd be walking along, all of a sudden they'd be walking by, he'd say, hey, Tinkerbell. And they'd look over, and out would be Dad's butthole. And he'd be laughing his ass off. And as an old man, he remembered doing these things. And it was very important with dementia and Alzheimer's that you kind of, you know, keep him in cheerful spirits. So, you know, when he was started getting bad at the old house, what I'd do is when the Mormons come, I'm like, all right, Dad, let's get this on, you know. And so he couldn't quite do it himself anymore. He needed help either holding himself up or getting his pants down. So I'd usually hold him so he could get his pants down and show him his pruny old wrinkled butthole, and then give him the finger. Now, some of you might say this is wrong, and I'll admit it's unorthodox behavior, but, you know, it was funny as a spectator sport. Like, even my mother, who has no sense of humor, laughed. She said, oh, Jesus, dear, and you stop helping him. You know, implying, Joey, stop helping your dad. Well... Oh, in his old age, man, he came up with some brilliant fucking ideas, but I think him mooning the Mormons is probably one of the more unorthodox ways I've ever heard of dealing with ecumenical affairs. And as always, if uh, you like the video, like the video. If you don't, you don't. And uh, if I got you laughing at some point during these shorts videos, to the point you spit a mixed drink on your phone, I'm sorry. I'm really not sorry, but that's okay. And uh, until we meet again, Thursday can eat my shorts and soak in the Mormons.